together yet again for the band of the One Sovereign Command. And before I start the formal part of today, can I just say that Sonia O'Sullivan has run around the world in hail, rain, snow, and much, much more. In actual fact, it's one of the reasons why she left our shores to go to Australia for better clement weather when she trained. So we thank you all for coming and joining with us today. And we remind you, even if it does rain, this woman has done it for her country and for her town. And we'll ask you to stay with us right throughout the ceremonies. So bear with me as I go through some of our dignitaries here today. First and foremost, the Mayor of Cork County, Councillor John Paul O'Shea. Councillors of the Cove Municipal District, Councillors Cahill Rasmussen, Sinead Shepherd, Kieran McCarthy, Anthony Barry, Jerk Johan and Porik O'Shea, my colleagues, who all worked very, very hard, not just in getting this monument together, but making sure that it all happened on time while Sonia was actually at home with us. To Mr. David Stanton, TD, you're very welcome. Members of the clergy, Father John and Father Liam, you're very welcome here today. Um, Mr. John Sweeney, President of the Cove and Harbour Chamber, of Commerce, of course the members and the Chair of Cove Tourism Limited, your hosts for this event here today. We have lots of athletes in our audience, but we also have many of the professionals behind them. So members of Ballamore Athletics, members of Cork County Athletic Board, the members of Cork City Sports, members of the Cork Business Houses Athletic Association, um, and many, many other sporting connections from all over. You're very, very welcome to us. We're delighted to have Mr. Fred Crudge from the ONE. We have with us Coleman Rasmussen from Cove Credit Union. We have, of course, the artist and sculptor himself, Mr. James McLaughlin and his family. We have the Strictly Dancers who did so much in putting themselves forward in raising some of the funds for this particular event. We have Mr. Michael O'Connor representing Rebecca O'Connor, the international Tina Turner tribute star, and who is, of course, a Covite in her own right. We have members of the Great Island Community Forum who represents 200 groups, cultural, business, educational and leisure, all active on the island at this moment in time. And a sincere welcome this afternoon to the worldwide press who are joining us for this very, very important event where the town of Cove gets to commemorate and celebrate one of our own. We're delighted to have with us today families of Phyllis Kidney RIP and also two up and coming stars of the future standing behind me, sitting behind me here we have Mark Jones and Maggie Sillett from Ballamore who did extremely well again yesterday in the race but most importantly we are thrilled to have with us today the family of Sonia we have her husband Nick her daughters Kira and Sophie um, we also have her mother Mary, her, her father John, better known as Sully to the Covites here in town, and of course our guest of honour herself, Sonia O'Sullivan. A little bit of a background on Sonia for those who may not know it, and we're going to keep this simple. Sonia not only is being honoured here today because of her sporting acumen and her amazing achievements worldwide, but also for her faithful um, uh, ambassadorship to this town. She has always remembered where she came from. This is the island that she calls home. Press, books, blogs and live. Sonia has always said that she was born in 1969 in Cove in County Cork and has never changed that rhetoric right throughout her successful career. Looking back, the young shy person who loved to run. As a teen, she formed a group with others, a small track club. She quit racing very early on because she felt she might only be mediocre. We can now laugh at that concept. The perfectionist in her though um, wanted to raise her speed and therefore every morning she left it to the very last minute before she left for school so that she would do the fastest half mile sprint she possibly could from her door to the classroom. In secondary school she returned to training and she trained on our very roads and our, on our very streets right throughout Cove and the Great Island. That was a, re a regular picture then that is echoed still today whenever Sonia comes home and joins us. Her sponsorship and her, her scholarship over to Pennsylvania was our loss and it was good luck to Sonia but never goodbye. In 1987 unfortunately 
many injuries in her freshman year meant that she didn't achieve all she wanted to achieve in Villanova. But she went on to great success with members of the Villanova Wildcats and of course her degree in accountancy. Brains as well as talent, this woman. Her coach, Marty Stern, said, Sonia developed a healthy balance between class and running. Sonia is as talented a runner as I've ever coached and she loves to run. That is a tough combination to beat. Sometimes she actually has a smile on her face while she's doing a workout. And again, that smile is still seen today on the streets of our town when Sonia is home and was very evident yesterday with the children's race where she ran with so many. And of course here when she, when she came in on her own 5K yesterday evening, which was an amazing event. Her achievements have gone on from there. The community of the Great Island ran every step with you. You may not have felt it, but we were always there. Radio, TV, newspapers, magazines, and sometimes even the island drums of the Great Island kept us all your faithful fans every step of the way through good times and through bad. In 1996, the Olympic Games in Atlanta, the gold was not to be. But on that occasion, it was her father who became famous. And those famous words when interviewed when he said, nobody died. And this is vitally important because it's this wonderful grounded support that has added to the true spirit of what Sonia is. It saw her rise like a phoenix and go on to much and many future successes. It's 1995 we celebrate today. 20 years on, this is what we remember. The year when, Ganya, when Sonia won gold at the World Track and Field and became Woman Athlete of the Year. She has seen four Olympic Games. She's carried the torch flame. She was the bearer in 2012 in Dublin, where she carried it into the Phoenix Park as she a Phoenix herself and lit the Olympic cauldron. She's a trainer an author, a worldwide keynote speaker, a wife, a mother, a daughter, a sister, a player and a friend. But today we acknowledge that she has been a magnificent ambassador for tourism in our town. She has carried our hopes and our dreams, made them a reality without ever forgetting where she came from. Your island, your home, the great island of Cork Harbour. Sonia, a bronze for you today, but you will always be the golden girl of Cove, and we honour you here today. Can you put your hands together, please? And after that brief citation, I call on the Mayor of Cork County, Councillor John Paul O'Shea. Thanks indeed, um, Councillor Conan, and uh, I won't keep you too long because I know it's uh, um, you know, it's uh, an awful day, but thank you very much for coming out in such numbers to support uh, and honour this beautiful lady, Sonia O'Sullivan. I'm delighted as Mayor of the County of Cork to be present here today, um, you know, to take part in this um, special occasion uh, that is the statue um, to Sonia O'Sullivan. I think it's great credit due to Cove Tourism and Hendrick and his team uh, to actually, um, you know, commission this uh, statue and uh, make sure that, I suppose, uh, that the, I suppose, the times and life and uh, sporting achievements of Sanyo Sullivan right uh, throughout her career will for forever be remembered here in the island of Cove. And I think, Sonia, you're actually thrilled to have this gig today. Um, you know, Sonia has been a fantastic ambassador for Irish sport and for athletics right across the, uh, the, the globe. And, you know, uh, Councillor Conlan mentioned it there, uh, there's been a fantastic tribute uh, all the way back through her career. She's always mentioned that Cove was her home and Cork was her home. I really do, um, you know, uh, as Mayor of the County, we do appreciate uh, that, Sonia, that you always mention Cove and you always mention Cork in wherever you go. Just to, I suppose, recap on Sonia's uh, great achievements, it started all the way back in 1991 where in the World Student Games in Sheffield, she won gold in the 1500 metres and silver in the 3000 metres. Uh, in 1993, it's the World Championships in Stuttgart, where she came home with uh, silver for the 1500 metres. In 1994, in the European Championships in Helsinki, she won gold in the 3000 metres. Again, won gold in the World Championships in Gothenburg in 1995. And in 1997, uh, came home with the silver in the 3000 uh, uh, um, metres in the World Intro Championships in Paris. In 1998, the World Cross Country Championships, she came home with two golds. 
In 1998, in the European Championships in Budapest, she came home with a gold in the 10,000 metres and a gold again in the 5,000 metres. And yet, you know, 2000 in the Olympic Games in Sydney won a silver medal in the 5,000 metres. In the European Championships in 2002, in Munich, she won a silver in the 10,000 metres and silver again in the 5,000 metres. So that's a tribute to what Sonia's dedication has done over the years, to give her a big bull of us. She's an avid cyclist herself as well, and we were both were so down the, in uh, Glengariff during the Rebel Tour uh, two weeks ago. And uh, like like she is in the athletic field, she left me for dead anyway. With the, the very minute the bicycle uh, took off, the very minute I started the race. So, uh, Sonia, you're 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 an avid cyclist as well, and thanks again for for turning up on the Rebel Tour. But I just want to finish off by saying I'm deeply honoured and privileged to be here as mayor of the county today, uh, to be in I suppose the company of Sonia and to all the people of Cove and to the people of Cork in acknowledging what is. Sonia O'Sullivan, the best athlete that we've ever known. So thanks again for being here. Thank you very much, Mayor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I hand you over to the chairperson of Cove Tourism, who hosting or hosting this event today, Mr. Hendrik Verway. Thank you, Mayor and Mayor Sonia, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to be here today. And I suppose we're here because Sonia is Ireland's greatest ever athlete. She's proud to call Cove home, um, and we're, claim, we're proud to claim her as our own. So, you know, it's only fitting that she's permanently honoured here in our hometown of Cove. Sonia has been a tremendous ambassador for her sport and for Ireland, and is a fantastic role model for young athletes. It's hard to believe that it's 20 years now since that gold medal win in Gothenburg. Um, and it was back in 2013 that Cove Tourism decided that the 20th anniversary, you know, would be the fitting time to permanently honour Sanyu this statue here in Cove. So we just set about it, and I think, you know, with the help of the people and the business of Cove, we actually did it in, in record time. And um, I suppose we've had our own journey over the past two years, and we've had occasional stresses, but, you know, the proof of the pudding is here under this red, this red cloud here today. Um, I suppose we were absolutely delighted then when local artist James McLaughlin was successful in, in his um, tender to, to, to do this statue. And I suppose his attention to detail and his determination to get Sonia just right while transporting her back in time to the mid-1990s is an absolute credit to him. We look forward to, to him securing many further commissions on the strength of this statue. And I think, you know, today this statue is a celebration of two great talents. Sonia on the one hand and James on the other. Cove. Cove as a town has, has a multitude of stories to tell and I suppose a lot of them being shipping tragedies and, and that sort of stuff. But um, I think this statue will contribute to Cove's sense of place and by seeing it visitors to our wonderful town will understand just a little bit more about what makes us tick. It is positioned so that every photograph of it will have Cove's iconic cathedral in the background, helping to spread the word that Cove is a must-see place to visit. The photograph that was taken last week of Sonia herself standing on this plinth was seen by 7,500 people, and that was only on the Cove Tours and Facebook page alone. It also made four daily newspapers, and that's even before the statue was unveiled. The fundraising for this statue was a relatively painless affair in a country that is still hurting in more, more ways than one from a recession. I suppose the determination of Cove Tourism and a mix of contributions from local businesses and sporting bodies, fundraising from local groups and a very significant contribution from Cork County Council meant that we reached our goal in less than two years. The people, of, and, the people and businesses of Cove supported us every step of the way. Great credit must go to the Sanya Committee from Cove Tourism, and that's made up of Pat O'Shea, Paul O'Halloran, Tony Nolan, Ursula Duffy, Belinda Shaw, myself, Jim O'Rourke, and Jack Walsh. And I think today it's only fitting that we acknowledge the contributors, um, which I'll list now in order of, of that contribution was made. And I suppose we started the ball rolling with a very sizable contribution from Cove Credit Union. Um, Mark Millipore, 
Glaxo, Smith Klein, Ballamore Cove at Letty Club, Cove Tidy Towns, East Cork Oil, John and John Paul Riley. BMC Stores, St. Mary's National School, the Cork Business Houses Athletic Association, Ballymore, <coughs> Cove Flower and Horticulture Club, Catalyst Cove, Swells, Peter Roche, Cork County Athletics Board, Commodore Hotel, Coral Leisure, Frank Wally, Cork City Sports, Rebecca O'Connor, John O'Hanlon, Cove Community College, Pressure Hydraulics Cork, and Cork County Council. I suppose Strictly Cove Dancing, and Rebecca O'Connor's Tina Turner Tribute concert will long be remembered as fantastic nights in Cove and will forever be associated with this statue. One of the Strictly dancers said recently that they are responsible for one of Sonia's legs. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that they're responsible for two. And fantastic legs they are. <laughs> um, an announcement about Strictly Cove Dancing 2016 and how to be a part of it will be made soon. And I would make a suggestion that as soon as tickets go on sale, you go out and you grab yours, because it will be for one night only. <laughs> to finish, I just want to mention um, the value of public art and how important it is in our towns and cities. And this may seem a little wordy, especially on a wet day in the centre of our town. Um, but I think it's appropriate that we just, I just want to mention it. And um, this is adapted from the website of the Association of Public Art in Philadelphia, a city that is awash with public works of art. As you listen to what I'm going to say, think of Sonia and her career. Think of how we reached, we reacted to the highs and lows, how we look back fondly now, and how proud we are of Ireland's greatest ever athlete in our hometown. Public art expresses community values enhances our environment and heightens our awareness. It is there for everyone, a collective form of community expression. It is a reflection of how we see our place in the world. The artist's response to our place combined with our own sense of who we are. Public art is a part of our public history, part of our evolving culture and of our collective memory. It reflects and reveals our society and adds meaning to our town. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andy. And just in a few seconds, ladies and gentlemen, we will invite Sonia forward. There is literally a sea of people in all directions here today. We ask that the first photographs be allowed to taken by the, the press who are here in, in their numbers today. But we guarantee you will all get an opportunity to have a photograph uh, with the statue as the afternoon goes on. And maybe even on an, uh, a more pleasant day going forward before Sonia goes home, we might be able to organise same as well for you. I've never been so proud to wear the Irish colours, green, white and orange, and call on right now uh, the woman of the day, the golden girl of Cove, the golden girl of Ireland. Please give a resounding welcome to Sonia O'Sullivan. Um, thanks very much and thanks for standing in the rain. Um, I, this is definitely going to be a test of the, uh, I suppose the structure here and how it, with, how it withstands the rain and the elements today with a bit of wind and rain. Um, this is really a special day for me and for my family um, to have the statue, um, I suppose, built and erected in my honour and um, that I'm about to unveil pretty soon. Um, I suppose it, so many people have been asking me, you know, what does it mean to me? and um, you know, how do I feel about it? And it's it's a very difficult question to answer because, you know, it's not really about me, this statue. This statue is really about everybody who has supported me and probably got me to this point in time, you know, and, you know, you, you listen to all the accolades and uh, achievements down through the years. But, you know, it started for me, you know, just a normal little girl running around the streets of Cove, um, walking to school and back every day and um, you know eventually got a chance to win some races and you know really enjoyed it and kept going and you know when it got I suppose to the important races and when I had to travel further than East Cork and Cork and Munster and all Ireland you know the people of Cove were always there for me um, I was supported from very young age by lots of local businesses 
and contributed many times to when I had to travel away to events and you know I'd particularly like to thank um, people who supported me then people um, Dennis English at BMC who I'll be looking over over there or he'll be looking over at me um, <laughs> to um, Michael O'Flynn at Clown and Milk who were the first um, first job I suppose that was kind of a sponsored job where I dressed up in clothes and uh, didn't really have to do very much got, but got paid for it um, <laughs> Then, you know, the people who were always behind me, my family were always behind me. And um, every time I came home from an event, everybody came out, rain, hail or shine, to greet me and to welcome me home, um, just like you are here today. Um, the idea of a statue, you know, I was definitely a little bit apprehensive about it um, when it was given to me first, and I wasn't very sure about it. And it was only um, exactly one year ago when um, I went and met James McLaughlin. And, you know, I went down there and I, I wasn't sure I was really happy about it because I, you know, I didn't know what to think. And he convinced me that you know, he was going to do an absolutely fantastic job of it and he was going to take every care to make sure that it was going to be something that you know, I would be happy with and that everybody in Cove and Cork and Ireland would be proud of and happy to um, come and I suppose, visit and have their picture taken with. So it doesn't matter now if I am in Cove or not because I often walk around the streets and you bump into the tourist buses and they're very surprised, you know, if they do happen to bump into me. But uh, a little piece of me will always be here now and they'll be able to take home a memory from Cove. Um, I'd just like to thank um, James for, you know, um, creating this fantastic um, statue. Um, you know, it, it, it's not me, but it is an image and a replica of me. It's a piece of art, and it is, um, you know, everybody will see something different and take something different from it. But hopefully, what uh, all the young kids here take today is some inspiration, and it's, um, you know, I suppose something that can be achieved if you work really hard. And it doesn't have to be in running, it doesn't have to be in sport, it can be in whatever that you decide to do that you set your goals high and you chase your dreams and that you do the best that you can to achieve them. I'd like to thank Cove Tourism for putting the idea out there, for um, the people of Cove for getting behind the idea because lots of people have ideas but it's when you fulfill the ideas and you have the people behind you to support it and the people who did all the fundraising to raise the funds to get the statue made because you know it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of time, a lot of effort and that costs money. So I'd like to thank all the schools, the businesses of Cove, the clubs um, who put in a lot of time and effort throughout the past year to make sure that this statue would be built and erected here on time today at 3 p.m. Um, when we can unveil it. Um, so also like to particularly the as um, Henrik said the um, strictly come dancing, which really I think the people of Cove got behind and it's great to hear that you're going to be taking it on again next year. And um, also Rebecca O'Connor for a fantastic concert that she gave. Um, and I think that's about it. I think I think everybody else has mentioned everybody else. So I've, I have forgotten anybody. I'm sorry, but um, I appreciate every minute of everyone's time that they put into making sure that this would happen here today. And um, I'm going to unveil it now. Right. <laughs>